Hi everyone, this is a new tutorial for OpenTTD and it's about aircraft transportation. My last two tutorials were an introduction to OpenTTD and a tutorial on train transportation. Although I feel like it isn't necessary to make a thorough tutorial on this subject, I have noticed that some people have trouble getting started in this area too. Well, for those people, fear not. Air routes are among the simplest things to construct in OpenTTD. Airplanes require little infrastructure. In fact, all they need are two or more airports for flying between them. Like every transportation method, aircraft have advantages and disadvantages. The main strength is the speed and the lack of any obstacles in flight. They have relatively low capacities compared to trains and ships, but higher than vehicles. The main weakness is that they're only good at transporting passengers and small quantity of mail. Sure, they can be refitted for other types of cargo, but the capacities drop ridiculously low. This raises a problem for the infrastructure. The need of placing airports as close to the center of the city as possible. It's not always a problem to create an airport on the outskirts of the city, but if it doesn't have a good coverage of the city buildings, it won't be very profitable. There's also one more problem. Airports are big. Later in the game, they get huge. Even later, they get enormous. So here's a tip. When starting the game, if you find a nice zone for placing your airport, try to provide some space for the future, bigger airport. How do you ensure you'll have enough space in the same zone? Well, that's easy. Buy land! Plan ahead for the type of airport you want to upgrade to, and buy land around the small current airport so that it covers the area that the future airport will occupy. When bringing out the airport selection menu, you'll notice that you can choose between several types of airports and even heliports, although I'm not talking about those in this tutorial because they're not so useful. There are six types of airports, classified as small, large and hub airports, which are the biggest. The smallest airport is the first one you'll use early in the game and it occupies only 3 by 4 squares. The next one is the commuter and it occupies 4 by 5 squares. The commuter has one more loading platform and two helipads. The aircraft traffic is the same, so this one is only useful when it's impossible to build a larger version. The next one is the city airport and it occupies 6 by 6 squares. Still having three loading platforms, the layout is different and it enables more efficient traffic. The next one is the Metropolitan Airport and it occupies 6x6 six six squares. The layout is almost the same with the city one, but it has two tracks. On this airport, aircraft can take off and land at the same time, but I think only in this order. The next one gets even bigger. The International Airport occupies 7x7 seven seven squares and houses 6 loading platforms. The layout of this airport allows independent landings and takeoffs, greatly optimizing the traffic flow. The next biggest of all is the Intercontinental Airport. This beauty is so huge that it will be very hard later in the game to find a place for it or find a city that accepts the construction of it. It occupies 9 by 11 squares and features 4 tracks allowing for 2 independent landings and takeoffs. It also houses 2 hangars and 8 loading platforms. It's truly a colossus of profits when placed appropriately. Now let's talk about the airplanes. There are several strategies you can approach in a game and one of them includes basing your economy on aircraft transportation because it's profitable. Actually, when the faster aircrafts start rolling in, it becomes ridiculously profitable and that's why on some servers you won't be able to build airports. At the beginning of the game, it's not common to start with aircraft transportation. The airplanes have small capacities and fly at quite a low speed. Also, most of the cities will be undeveloped, so loading passengers will take a long time and your economy will develop poorly. I suggest you start with a cold route using trains first. After a few years, the city airport will become available. By this time, the FFP Dart aircraft will have appeared. This is the first airplane to travel at 951 km per hour, a speed at which air routes become profitable. For example, on a 512 by 512 map, you can order without concern a couple of these planes to go between two airports situated near the edge and at the center of the map. By 1970, lots of airplanes will have appeared. My favorites are Yate Hogan, I'm sorry, I really don't know how to pronounce that, <laughs> and Darwin 300, both for their reliability, first for the incredible speed and the second for its high capacity. You could carelessly order a couple of Yate Hogan to go between two airports located at opposed corners of the map. Profits are incredible. I mentioned reliability. The lower the reliability, the higher the chance of a vehicle breaking down. 
be careful with this. It's not a big deal for terrestrial vehicles that can find a depot fast, but airplanes will have to travel at low speed on long distances before they land and get serviced. When the international and intercontinental airports are available, and you had the lucky chance of placing a couple of these across the map, all that is left to do is spam some high capacity aircrafts. Profitable business has never been so easy. That's why most servers have restrictions on the number of airplanes you can create though. Too bad. Well, this is my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day!